uh, face the franchise. There we go. I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I... Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be... I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that I'm even in this... Hey, don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Remember that was? It's going be okay. Okay. You wanted to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? 
That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. Mm. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. And to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough. He's got to prove it to those guys. I gotta take this. All right, gentlemen. Like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. <laughs> so we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh -huh. uh, this is for players and coaches only. Mm. I'm here to play Miami. What? The Hurricanes, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? Quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna record them. Okay. Right. So, we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Oh, um, what am I? Oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? Well, I'm one of those guys who thrives in chaos. You no, know, even when the pocket's collapsing, I can buy time and push the ball downfield. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what? I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... People would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey, can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, Bye. I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, you ready, right? Yeah. Man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since mm -hmm. I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? Yeah. I got you, man. I got you. All right.
Pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. And what do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Forget about him, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah?
Well, outside, it's a rare Texas there snowstorm, but we are indoors here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups, as we'll see the Miami Hurricanes taking the on the Florida, Florida Gators. Gators. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Uh, thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. Means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara, we are underway from Arlington in the national playoff semifinal. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Hurricanes now first and 10. Now Gregory to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now Gregory. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On, that one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Two yards the gain on the keeper at its second down. From the 39, Gregory to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. The Hurricanes, of course, a three-time national champion back in the 80s, 83, 87, 89. They then added two more for good measure in 91 and 2001, but they haven't held that trophy since. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, Gregory. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 24 yards. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me. I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, yeah. that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Gregory looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Larson. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Gregory will look to throw it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the opening drive of the game yields three. 
No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Already trailing 3 nothing before he takes that first college snap. Here it is on first and 10. They'll go play action and let him throw right away. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. For the Gators, they are in search of their fourth national title in school history. They lifted the trophy for the first time back in 96. And then most recently, they were champions in 2006 and again in 2008. He'll look to throw. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this oh is incomplete. God. A huge gamble, and it does it. not pay off. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just to call it. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that one. Looking to throw on second down. Gregory. Now they go screen. It's complete. Call it no gain on the jump off, and it's third down. But the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. Yeah, if you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Ready, ready. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. He will not be throwing to start out as they begin on the ground. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Six-nothing our score after one. Here's a second and seven. He'll have a first down past the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. You know, you think back to what kind of parallels you can draw for what this young quarterback is trying to do, trying to lead a team to a national championship with so little experience. And the one name that I come back to, Cardinal Jones of Ohio State back in the 2014 season. Very similar situation. Limited appearances through the first few years of his career. Then all of a sudden, he's thrust into yeah. the national spotlight, just like this young man has been and all Jones was able to do well win a national championship and then move on to a career in the NFL so it can definitely happen that's going to be caught at the 10 yard line four yards on the pickup and that'll make this a second down four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six on the ground it's Clements uh, uh. trying to run inside but nothing there no gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. 
That well, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And they'll run oh, and stop him short of the there first down at about the six. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one on one. And if you win your one on ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. If more people to the floor, oh, they snuffed out the play. Yeah. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Oh, wow. Able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. The Gators now with a first and goal. They'll run with Clements. And he is in. Yeah. Touchdown, Gators. A three-yard touchdown run. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Now, let's not forget that was all set up by the fourth Fuck down it. conversion earlier in the drive. Would have been a complete letdown if the drive doesn't culminate this. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he's in for two. The yeah. fake words. And they take the lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be done. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? Which, where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here we go. Sit. Off the bootleg. Gregory. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So here's a first and ten for Miami. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. And an alley to run. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the defense has come up with yes. it. Good job, man. He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. Oh, what? Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. Let's go, defense. Second and 10. No, oh, sir. No. And he goes down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Called for by the defense. As I um. head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Florida's punter is out there now. On, we think, to punt. Though. And look at this. Another fake. And yeah, this is incomplete. What? A huge oh game, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, it looked like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. 
To throw again on second down. Gregory. He'll hit Jackson complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out. That is caught at the seven. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards the gain for number 18. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this will be scooped up by the defense. So a heck of a move. Man. And now running right to Oh, man. What the what? Give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Wow. Meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They were looking Jennings way again, but it'll be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw here. This one complete to Streets. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. When prepping for this semifinal matchup, we went back and saw all the tape on Isaiah Streets throughout the year. And no matter who you talk with around the game, they say Isaiah Streets, what's so impressive, his route running ability. So much discipline, so much precision on the cuts. Not only that, but you sit down with him and you find out what an impressive young man he is for the amount of talent that he has and all the stars and accolades by his name. Incredibly. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. And Todd Burke as time expires in the first half. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Point after, right down the middle. One half down in Arlington, and it's the Gators on top. And that makes this a nine-point game. Let's go. Hey, Ken. Just checking in with you. How do you feel about the first half? <laughs> That's how we play. Let's go. We had a great first half. We keep doing what we're doing, we might win this thing. There's a lot of wheeze in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates. But you remember, you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. Let's go. Mm. Hey, coach. Really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. That's on me. I'm over it. All that matters is the win. All right. Can you handle it if I open up the playbook a little bit in the second half? Let's do it. Wow. Let's get him. Thanks, coach. All right. The winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half in this semifinal matchup from Arlington. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. Open man here, Streets. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So much made about the fact that we've got a quarterback who's never seen the field in a college football game, but you go back to his high school days, he's played in front of crowds. Maybe not quite this side. No oh, to escape, do that? and he goes down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He rifles one, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will oh, take wow. this one home. It's a touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What, you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Point after try, forthcoming. And he's got it. It cuts this thing to two. It's 15-13 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken for from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. But Charles, so much of this offense the last few years centering around the combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah. Oh, no. Fires one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it, because that's not what you want to do to try and press your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Probably spent all night last night saying, don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second and 11. Throw left side complete. That's Joseph. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Operating from the gun, Gregory. Over the middle, complete. It's oh, Joseph. No. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Hurricanes. From 17 yards out. And the Hurricanes have taken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. This is taken at his four. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. And last time was it pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive line. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is Damn. incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. 
They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. The Hurricanes now first and ten. From the gun, Gregory. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he will take this in. Touchdown, Miami. Hunter Gregory. His second touchdown of the night. And the Hurricanes add on to their advantage. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, our defense is accounting for all the other runners on the field and, of course, for pass plays. But the quarterback position, oftentimes it is unaccounted for. Offense coordinator felt it, dialed it right up. Inside the red zone, is this something teams should maybe, depending on the quarterback, do more often? Definitely. If you've got a quarterback who can actually move it with his legs, that's an extra option and an extra weapon for you. I think they should utilize it more often. A good game there on first down. That run will get him seven up to the 32-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And got his man complete. Give him 32 on the play. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that will turn them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, I tell you what, that doesn't look like the throw of a guy who's never played college football. And, you know, you think about it, part of the reason, you have to remember, he's run the scout team in practice for four years. And that scout team has had to go up against their own first stringers on the defensive side. So he has practiced for all four of those years against one of the best defenses in the country. He seems to be ready for this opportunity. Second and five. That is caught. It's streets. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Back now here on EA Sports, and he is in. Touchdown Gators. Punching it in from a yard away as his guys are back within a single score. I know we don't talk about it enough. Now they're going to fake it. Yeah. He's across for two points. Boy, a gutsy call right there, but the fake works, and they get the two instead of one. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, oh, yeah, that's okay. a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this little? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. And an alley to run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. It's 
That's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Gotta love the catch. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. On third down, Gregory. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass yeah, protection. Okay. Get low than that defensive that. lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. They'll come out throwing here on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. First and 10, Florida. Back to throw here. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They'll look to throw. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Back to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. It's a 13-yard pickup as the downs reset. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Gators have jumped out in front. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. Yeah. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Here's Florida now after the touchdown, back out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the University of Miami, their offense, ready to get the drive started. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Joseph. No. And he will take this in for a Miami touchdown. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. 12 yards there and a first down. 
good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. They'll look to throw. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it yes. in. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Back to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the no. play for the football. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. Anton Burke with two ticks remaining. And the Gators have jumped out in front. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. That's fielded in the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is yeah. not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So on the strength of three touchdown passes in the first college start for their championship on January 7th. proud of you thank you sir how's a gutsy performance out there tonight <laughs> you took us to a national championship when nobody and I mean nobody expected you to and for what it's worth I'm really glad you stayed four years ago <laughs> thanks coach thank you <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! <laughs> Em, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Okay, hey, I bet he'd probably be good at, uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Well, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I'm gonna do pink, no question. Definitely pink. <laughs> Pink, no question. Come on. No, look. You see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. And now it's clicking. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah. Onyx. <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. 
Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course, anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? <laughs> is, is that okay? Well, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Mm -hmm. no, not at all. It? No, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this one, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel mm. you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent. But they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Yes, yeah, sure, coach. <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. All right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, coach. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it for the stream. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. Goodbye.